Hey guys, welcome to the spoiler section. How do you not give this movie a 10 out of 10? Do you remember what the chickens' names were? Your favorite. It's Sonny and Cher. Yeah, this guy's really a like huge that. Cher, I do Cher that. fan. <laughs> you, they, not even worth a point? No. No, because they let those chickens go. Okay, They're so. They're going to get slaughtered. Um, they kill. Carnage. I didn't expect that. So Carnage really doesn't. It doesn't feel like he has a body count. He does in the film, but you never really fucking see. They're any just of knocked it. out. He killed They're what? He killed out. what? Two people? Well, for sure, two, well, three people. Remember in the prison, he's fucking spinning, and he, he has like razor blades, right? So, assumedly, some of the the, the cops he eats the warden. Him. Yeah, he, he bites eats a dude the in, head off. He eats a dude in an alley. He does eat a priest. That was pretty brutal, but you not no, I take that word back. It was not brutal. The idea of him eating the priest was brutal. He's oh, like, but he goes, yeah. power I'm gonna up. eat this guy. He goes, power up, and he's like, No, don't kill him. <laughs> Holy shit, he eats like hey, you. He eats like you, Joe. <laughs> on the stream. <laughs> Joe has to use this to be exactly. seen eating. <laughs> There you go. So he's like the neutered version of Carnage, and it ruined things for me. And it's not so much that they're two big CGI things hitting each other, because like I said in the first Venom, you kind of have to have that for the symbiotes. Yeah. Um, and, and it's just the, the way you kind of present it. They went too far with, with spreading Carnage all over the place. Like the battlefield was Carnage, right? Mm -hmm. And so if I think that they had... Pared him down a little bit, to, you know, put him back into you know less of an amorphous blob and more of like a character with you know like five five appendages, maybe six. I'll give you six appendages. Yeah, but they like seriously, there's like forty appendages. He's holding onto someone else. He's doing Everything. something else. And then the writing in that scene where he's like, "I'm gonna make you watch me murder her," but by make you watch, I mean I'm gonna go. Three blocks straight up in the air. And it's like, you just told he me you could have killed her already oh, a it's thousand so dumb. times. Well, so he dumb. had a and cop. Then, he threw him off like the building, which was probably like 17 feet down. The guy's like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I remember oh, that. Oh, I, I guess I'm alive. I'm fine. <laughs> that guy moved. <laughs> Probably did. <laughs> right, in this film. Is my okay. scene over? <laughs> so uh, let, let's start this thing off. So it kind of really picks up right where it left off. You know, Eddie Brock is. No, they kind of change things where he's like, he's kind of down on his luck. Uh, nobody they cares really about him anymore. They do the loser thing. They do the loser and thing I hate again. It. And did it's it again. a little disappointing. Now, uh, Venom saves his ass because he's the one that interprets the drawings on, because uh, he has photographic memory. And it makes sense. Venom's so fucking cool. He's got all these abilities. He's He's got powers. So they do this drawing, figures it out for him, and uh, figures out where these bodies are from this serial killer, which then gets Cletus fucking angry with him, you know, because he's going to die, and, and he, like, hates him, and he's never going to see his girl again. Oh, by the way, the, I forget that the film starts with uh, uh, two different actors playing uh, Cletus and, and Did you just, Shriek. The lip sync was bad. Yes, lip sync was bad because they were doing Woody Harrelson's voice out of his mouth. And just to establish the fact that, oh, Cletus, was, you know, does love something or whatever. Yeah. And so you know right from the beginning that she's just a plot device in order to be Carnage's weakness. And yeah, it's, just it's an air horn he was in love with. And uh, in love with the <laughs> literal fucking plot device, <laughs> air horn. Um, and so then later on, uh, Cletus is about to be executed, and so he writes little letters to, uh, you know, Eddie Brock. And Venom is like, "Who, who is this? Are you friends with an with an ant? I guess because he's writing real small or something. I don't know, but just real awkward, really Some awkward of the stuff lines. Was not. I've never like." It's so different from what Hollywood, what I normally hear in these types of films, that I like it. But I, but. The jokes Not aren't the landing. They're no. charming jokes. It's like a friend who tries to be funny... And it, he's not super funny. It's like it's like me. Joe's funny. I'm not funny, but <laughs> shit, man. It's I like, like all puns right, and fine. dad jokes. All right, if I, yeah. if you can get me with that, I think no. It's funny. There's some better dad jokes than this. <laughs> there was one or two really that funny things. Yeah, in no, this no. Movie. They're, they're, uh, we're not saying it's completely unfunny. It's just they do a mile a minute, and many of majority them majority there's two, there's kind of miss. Yeah, majority they, of them miss. They, they're more. The, it's not that they miss. It's just that it all builds the charm. Um, anyways, so. I got sidetracked. Uh, where am I? Um, so he asks him to come visit him in his jail cell, and that's when he sort of 
antagonizes uh, Eddie, and Venom is under these house arrests, these rules. Do not eat this. Do not. He's always complaining. Apparently, he needs some kind of uh, chemical that's only found in chocolate. And brains. And brains. I don't know if that's a real thing. We have to look it up, but... Um, he I, says I yes. He says it is a real thing. Okay, then it's a real thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, but he wants to fight bad guys, and I, I feel for Venom. I'm like, man, this is stupid. You got all these powers, fucking use them. So I'm on Venom's side here. Um, he's just frustrated, and so that leads to this thing where we have a subplot where he separate. They get into a fight in his apartment. Um, well, first they go visit uh, Cletus, and uh, you know he antagonizes him, and. Venom literally shoves him, and Cletus is surprised, but he's such a caged animal, the first thing he can think of is to bite him. And then he notices, like, what the fuck just came out of you? And then your blood tastes weird, and that's how he gets the symbiote power. Apparently, if you taste the blood of a symbiote, you become a symbiote. Yeah, anyone who's ever bitten Venom ever, all you have to do is bite him, and then you become... No. No, no, that's, that's how it works. That, that is so how I, it works. I just saw it in the movie. That's Shit. how it works now. No, uh, I don't like that. Yeah, <laughs> I don't well, no, think yeah, that's how it, it works. It's, it's not that. good. It's, it's, in it's, it's, it's in the movie. It's in the movie now. Stupid. So now, yeah, the, then you I'll can find get Eddie Brock and I'll bite that motherfucker because yeah, I, I want, I want powers. All right, so that's how he gets then, and then they have a fight. Uh, you know, when he realizes his girl is, you know, not coming back to him, and she's about to get married to fucking Dan. I did like when he slapped Dan in the face. You get to see that in the trailer. It was funny. Um, uh, this was the worst half hour of the movie for me. Yeah. I think that the whole them being split up had no purpose whatsoever. Yeah. We had already had done this in the last movie. Three years ago. It's like, why yeah. would you invite her like, to dinner to make it awkward? It's weird. It's, he's like, if, if they're really friends, like, hey, over text or calls, or, hey, like, just let you know. Film. Venom is cucked the whole film. Yeah. And, and, and it's not like... And and so then they talk about couples therapy and stuff. Like, are we, is that going to be the third film? Like, Dan is and and everybody's going to couples therapy so that they can have a uh, a copacetic relationship. Well, I don't that's great. They said the final fight in an, uh, an air raid siren <laughs> factory because it has to be some stupid, <laughs> right. convenient place with a lot of noise. And well, that's the thing I don't get. Like, uh, what was it? Carnage takes off, he breaks out of jail. Breaks out of jail. You're telling me there's no alarms in jail, no, no nothing. Yeah, no. no. Hey, no, guys, somebody escaped. No, there was. It go wee wee, and then he immediately destroyed it. There's only one. Okay. Yeah, one red light. Okay, so... Got okay. it. Next Got time, I'm going to break out. Well, nobody the, really knows well, guys, his weakness, a, I guess, he until would, they realize it. I know. I know he knows the weakness. Like, oh, even God. fucking Dan knows. <laughs> yeah, and even fucking Dan knows, because Dan is the nice guy. Dan saves the whole film and ends up saving it Venom. lights Carnage's ass on, on fire. On fire with uh, lighting. So now we're supposed to like Dan, and Dan is just going to be like, a, a, there's Dan. Yeah, Here comes like Dan. Dan. I hated that when they did it with the fucking... Uh, what is it? Fucking Superman, where they had the fucking Scott guy, the, you know, the Scott uh, f Cyclops uh, guy. It, I hated it here. Whatever. Okay, cool, man. Yeah. Dan's a part of it. Um, but anyway, Carnage and uh, Shriek decide to get married in the chapel, and they have this weird pact that they go, let's do a wedding. It's like, how the fuck does Carnage know what a wedding is? Isn't he a sim? Okay, fine. And everybody wants to bring one person to murder, so she chooses the cop, who conveniently is the same fucking cop that is following around and harassing Tom Hardy because things keep happening around Tom Hardy's character, Eddie Brock. And uh, he trails out with it, and so then you gotta follow it. Then Carnage wants to kill his father for no reason. He is Carnage. That's fine. That makes sense. And then um, who else? Who else is in there? Oh, yeah. And then Shriek gets Anne so that she she has a shiny thing so that, you know, Eddie will show up to the party. I did like that one joke that uh, Venom did. Yeah, which one? Because uh, they barge in and then all of a sudden Shriek starts yelling and then he's like, shut up. Because <laughs> it, it annoys Carnage. Then I was like, already with the marriage problems. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but then he said the same joke three more times after that. And I was that like, oh. man, that's what I'm saying. I, was I like, just like that one. Yeah. Was that, that first one. time it was great. Yeah. The yeah. second and third time. Yeah. Not at that. But did you notice how there are scenes, uh, you know, because, you know, when Venom's speaking in, in Eddie's brain, it, it seems as like there's some voices and jokes added in post 
Or they just threw the voice in there, but there's no cues from the actor like reacting yeah. to anything. It's happened like once or twice, so it, it feels a little messy in, in that in that kind of way. Uh, it just feels there. like they brushed everything <coughs> to move to the so, next project. Yeah, so Carnage has a present for Shriek. She's you know he's hiding the the cop that once shot her, so she has this thing that she in hates this eye. cop because yeah, he and messed survived. up her eye. Whatever. <laughs> I could fucking care less. There's, right? Yeah, there's like no so reason stupid. that she would give There's a no about reason this for it, but we're supposed to care about her subplot. So then he reveals how, look, I have this for you, baby. And then this, and they all have, you know, something to kill. And then, so then they go off and fight. And it's Shriek versus the fucking detective. And I'm like, and I. please get like away. I'm vengeance. trying to watch something else here. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, Venom shows up and he gets scared of a red one. Uh, I guess maybe the symbiote planet, the red ones are stronger than the black ones, and he gets. But you know, Tom Hardy makes a promise that he can eat people. He can eat everybody. You promise? Yes. And so then Venom's like, "All right, I'll try to fight." And so I like how plucky Venom is. He knows he might get his ass kicked, but he's gonna give it his all. And so we get that cool fight, and we get a fight, and you know. It's a, it's a mess. Dan comes in and helps out, and uh, the detective has his fight with Shriek, and Shriek wins against the detective. She she kills him with some chains and knocks him on his back, and then it looks like he's dead. Then at he's the end like of the on film, a small pole. Yeah. Like, uh, at the end of the film, for no fucking <laughs> reason, he opens his eyes, and his eyes are fucking glowing, and he goes monsters, you know, because he. He's like shocked by all these like fucking symbiotes running around. I'm like, what the fuck happened? What is going on? What does that mean? His transformation. At is... what? Into what? From who? Woody Harrelson sweat on him. Oh shit! That's right. If you get any amount of blood from any symbiote, so did he? Did we miss a scene where the detective accidentally licked Tom Hardy's blood, and so now he's toxin? I I don't know. No one knows. Or he's a spawn of the Carnage symbiote. He's supposed so to be Carnage. Yeah, Woody Harrelson sweat on him. That better not be it. I'm I'm gonna be fucking pissed. Yeah, he was just like he was. He was like, oh no, I'm, he was all sweaty. Or when he was holding him down, he accidentally yeah, he went, cut ah, it. Ah, 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 bit it or something. Bit him and now I didn't see him bite anything. I know, but that's why my girl was so confused. She was like, what? What was that? Can you explain that to me? I was like, I don't know, baby. I don't. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so there are things in the in the movie. It's like supposed that. to be Carnage's baby. Yeah, it's it's now toxin, so you get you know venom and then carnage and. But, and yeah, I get that, but. Right, it's it, it's but poorly, how? It's poorly I don't set know up. how. Don't you worry get about the how. I don't know so, how. What happens? So with far, so anyway, carnage is so powerful. He beats up venom. He's gonna win. He's gonna kill Anne, and he has Anne forever. He could have just killed Anne. He's like, I'm gonna ki- torture you so you can see Anne die, but then instead of killing her, he. Trans- King Kong's it. He climbs King up the Kong's building. King Kong's the cathedral all the way up. I, I don't get it. And then, Car- or I'm sorry, Venom gets uh, a second win to be like, you know what? They're not symbiotic. We are symbiotic. Let's go fight him again. Because he notices that Carnage and Shriek are fighting. Carnage hates the fact that she won't shut up and she's really it's loud. Like, don't yeah. talk to my wife like you that. You do that again. Yeah, we're going to ignore the fact that, that Venom and Eddie just spent three days apart from each other for the entire middle part of this movie. They're like, <laughs> they're not bonded, but we are. It's like, you guys hate each other. But Remember five minutes ago? Yeah, no, but Alex, they did set anyone. that up. They were missing each other. So I feel that that's at least set up. Like, Venom went off on his own. Isn't Cletus supposed to be party. the most bonded with any symbiote ever isn't that how it's supposed to be that's what carnage is how powerful he is yes so we're just gonna ignore all that yes okay. uh physically but maybe not mentally is this movie's this point. movie is for the kids. what the fuck this was wrong with everyone's hair in this mentally, movie mentally but also physically anyways hold oh. on so he goes to a party and every and it's a masquerade party so everybody thinks that he's cool because his costume's awesome He's like, yay, I'm free. Uh, and then he drops the mic. Wouldn't when he dropped the mic, go, he would go, ah. No. No, he, he, no, no. Because it makes a loud sound. But no, anyway, no, only no, some But it looks like he's tired and he falls to the ground. So I think Venom actually has a bigger body count in this film than Carnage does because he's killing people as he uh, jumps from person to person because for whatever reason, like the people are they cannot. Yeah, they throw up and 
melt from the inside. They, they die, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, after the club, he gets all sad. He goes by the dumpster. Eddie. He's like, if only Eddie was here to see Right, this. that's what I'm saying. They did set up <laughs> the fact that they need each other. And they not, yeah. not only are they friends, but they also are compatible or whatever. Um, but while he's doing that, uh, you know, Venom was falling apart. He goes to our, you know, scene-stealing... Um, What's her name? Mrs. Mrs. Chen. Mrs. Chen. She's great in this, She's too. great in this. Uh, she, Venom goes to her, and she saves his ass by letting Venom, uh, co- you know, uh, consume her or bond with her. And hopefully Mrs. Chen can take it. They didn't really ex- explain that. He wasn't going to be there for long. Yeah, yeah. that was because the other one looked like a yeah. couple of days. Uh, so, you know, at some point, Eddie Brock I- is, you know, captured by the police, and you have that, that subplot where, he, where we do get to see the female Venom again by way of Anne getting fine. He's like, you find Venom. I'm like, okay, this is fine. And this is how they're going to bring her in the film. She's in it for two seconds, and, he, you know, Venom's trying to help out his bro. Hey, kiss her. She's like, no, I'll never kiss you. I gotta, I'm going to go with Dan now. I'm going to go kiss Dan. And and then Tom Hardy goes, yeah, congratulations, sir. And then he slaps him in the face. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and then me. there's that subplot, and then they drive off. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, – oh, so you get your final battle. And you could kill and at any moment. He doesn't. And, uh, he, you know, Cletus is mad that Carnage uh, wants to kill uh, his love. And he tries to the get screamer. out of it. The Yeah. And uh, so that just, it just feels wrong because they're supposed to be so tightly knit together and, and of, of one and bonded perfectly. But whatever. They needed some contrived reason in order for the plot device, the air horn to be pressed. And once she gets back up after being knocked out and, you know, from Carnage, it looks like she's about to give fucking Carnage a fucking screaming and help Venom. But Venom's like, I need, I need something. And so he knocks her aside. <laughs> he could have just let her finish screaming. And then well, it would have What's going to hinder Carnage. him, too? <laughs> yeah, he just stand back. No, <laughs> he would still hear her. You're right, you're right. <laughs> so anyway, knocks her down. And she gives one last scream before she Get dies. smushed. And she's smushed. So Shriek is dead in this universe. And then uh, Carnage uh, dead, dead. Dead. dies because uh, he's in a weakened state. And uh, Venom picks him up and says uh, the only bad word in the film, fuck this guy. And he bites his head off. Yeah, Woody Harrelson's like, I just wanted a friend. And he's like, this and guy uh, didn't taste so good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, he when he eats his... Yeah, so the, the, the symbiote is separated. It goes to please. They yeah, Venom stops him, eats the symbiote, didn't taste good, eats Cletus's head. So in this universe, at least, Carnage is dead, Cletus is dead, Shriek is dead, but this feels everybody's like dead, such and a now the world knows about character. Venom, I think, I guess, because they're like, they're coming after you, and you need to leave. The old world. The old world. And so then he goes on a vacation on the beach. Uh, he's hiding out in Mexico or Jamaica, where wherever. Um, but here's where we get a badass scene. And the whole theater was like, <gasps> you can hear everybody get fucking excited. Because uh, as he's laying in this bed, uh, a fucking orange explosion or some spell explosion happens in the background. I think you can hear what it sounds to be like Doctor Strange's voice casting a spell or fucking something up. So... Whatever happens in either Doctor Strange's movie or Spider-Man Far From Home, they fuck up something, and, and it messes with the universe, and the, the rooms, the room spins or whatever and turns into a different thing, and he is now in a different universe because on the television, a fu- Tom Hardy's on there as is fucking Spider-Man, Peter Parker. Tom Holland. Tom Holland, not Hardy. And well, they're both Toms. And then he licks him, and he goes, this, that guy. You know, and and so fucking finally, Venom is where he should be. And Maybe. I'm like, yes, <laughs> yes. Maybe. Now, are they going to factor him into what everything is? What film is he going to show up in? Is he going to be in Spider-Man Far From Home? Is he going to be? No, because that film has to do with this, the Doctor Strange things happening in the background. So the next film, I guess. See, I thought that was uh, not Doctor Strange. I guess I missed that because... 
He's like, I will show you like a, a quarter of what I know. So ah, then, so then he's I like, I thought that All at right, first. Are you Joe. ready? He's like, I got this. And then she, he's I like, I thought Whoa. that at first, right? So then, he said, then he said, I, he said I didn't do anything. He goes, you listen to Venom's reaction. He's like, what? What is this? What the hell is going on? You know, he was about to share some knowledge with them because they did set that up too. And I think that might be alluding to the okay. fact that okay. Venom somehow knows Peter Parker because he's like, I have have all this knowledge across multiple universes or whatever he said. Um, and then when he notices, you know, Peter Parker, he kind of licks him, and it seems like he knows him or something on his secret war. Maybe he just finds him adorable. I, I don't know. Or maybe, yeah, the, the and spider then the blood. And jokes aren't attracted done to yet. The, uh, oh, yeah, uh, fat the bigger guy, comes, guy out. comes out with a shirt. Hey, what are you doing, what are you doing in my room? I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah, and there was a, a swan. Stop looking at me, swan. Tao Swan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought the scene that? was perfect because uh, <laughs> it was in a perfect. Yeah, it was great. Because like he's that. sitting on this dark, shitty, poorly written hotel room. Yeah. Uh, and, then and then all of a sudden, it's dark. And then he gets brought sucked into the MCU and it's like, this is much right. nicer. Yeah. This was, it, it it's better lit. Feel, There's a fucking swan there. Feels That's feels kind of cool. So everything about this scene <laughs> feels better. Chocolates. It's like, oh, we're going to get out of the Sony verse and into oh, like more of the God. fucking Marvel verse. Thank Can God. Can we just hire fucking some different Sony. writers? Sony. Well, I hate Sony. Everybody's like, you the like us. Look, here's our Mobius film with Jared Leto, and here's the next Venom film. And, and I'm like, just shut the fuck up. Morbius Let's looks get, still Get bad. your shit. Let's go. Let go. And so that's when I had a small hope. Oh, we're in a different universe. Maybe that means that Carnage is not dead after all. There could be a Carnage in this universe. Or he could end up one. creating a... Yeah, I hope. hopefully. It could still be Woody Harrelson, and he can be even more fucking dark. But in this one, he'll probably be even lighter. I don't know. Yeah, he will go back to the original <laughs> hair well, yeah, at the end of the first that. Venom. I just want better writing for his character. Yeah. Yes. But that's about it, though. All right. Well, I jumped all around on that one, yeah. but I think that's uh, that's basically. So to the movie. Yeah. So don't yeah. for, don't apologize. Yeah, it was it was yeah. kind of jumbled, little messy. Um, I think it's like close to an hour for jokes, and then but I it see where kind of picks up. Mm -hmm. So just be warned. Yeah. And again, I, mean, I hate Sony because they copyright my news. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's that's. Oh right, yeah, yeah. So Joe There's edits. Smaller, Joe edits the news and a smaller Sony. screen. We were all talking about random shit. Sony concept. So like, yeah. Now you know what it fucking feels like that I dealt it's with for fucking <laughs> ten years. Anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. Stupid. Uh, <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I'm excited for Tom Hardy to meet Tom Holland and Venom to meet Spider-Man. So all, everything that I wanted to come true is coming true. And now uh, the one last thing that I asked for, I was like, all right, I want these two to be in the same universe. And the second thing is I want those white. I don't know why he has white veins up here. I want the white veins to come down and form the Venom symbol. Because he's like, oh. Yeah. And I know how he's going to do it. He's like, I like that spider thing on your chest. You know, because Venom. He's quirky and he's like funny and he's you know anti-hero so he's gonna mimic spider-man's symbol just you watch yeah i like that uh, the my only gripe with the way they're doing uh ed uh brock mm -hmm. is like he because he had all these awards he's like a great journalist he had a tv show he had a You're TV a loser. Show. Like he's what? always like oh you know like super mm. jittery and like, yeah, he's he's on he kind of seems like, bit. yeah, kind of seems like he's on crack or something. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, how hard yeah. have you fallen, man? Just like, and Eddie Brock say is something. on crack. <laughs> well, that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like our movie reviews, uh, subscribe. Not, uh, thank you for watching. <laughs> support, support our channel and grab some merch down below. Thank you so much. And we will see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, Bye guys. guys.